Hello everybody. Today I have a little unboxing stationery haul for you guys. I got some stuff from Hemlock and Oak and I also got a new photo printer. So let's dive right on in and I'll show you guys what I got. First off from Hemlock and Oak, I just got a couple things. So when you open it up, they've got a little thank you card here with some information on the back. Then I got two washi tapes and a new journal, which I'm very excited to check out. Right off the bat, love the packaging. It's very cute. Nice little gold embossed box. And this is the notebook that I got. So it is their graph notebook in this beautiful like olive color. I had such a hard time deciding on the color because if you know me, you know I usually go for more neutral beige tones and I just wasn't really feeling as inspired as this beautiful deep green. So it is 160 pages of 150 GSM grid paper. This is going to be my first time using grid paper. I usually use dot grids in my like bullet journals and things like that, but I kind of wanted to give the grid a shot because I'm hoping it'll help me keep my lines of writing a bit neater. And this lovely decal on the front is their garden one. They also have like a kind of starburst looking one, but I really liked the flower pattern on here. When we open the journal up, we get a nice blank page and we have a notebook belongs to section and a if found contact section. And it just goes straight into the dot grid. The pages are numbered in the bottom corner here and it's got a bit of a margin all along the sides with the grid. Now if you follow my channel, you know that I don't do bullet journaling currently. I keep everything in my six ring binder and this has been working great. The only thing is there are certain things that I would like to memory keep and archive for later. And I've been going back and forth on how I want to do that. And I think what makes the most sense for me is to have a separate journal just for memory keeping. Because when I flip through my old journals, I don't really pay much attention to my to-do list and like my day-to-day -day stuff. That's kind of just helps me in the moment be productive. But when it comes to memory keeping, I want to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more expressive with like photos and scrapbooking and stuff like that. So that's why this notebook is going to be my memory archive journal. I can take things that I write down and things that happen in here, photos off my phone, and then put them in this journal. So the next thing that I got from Hemlock and Oak are these washi tapes. Now one thing I really like about this brand is they're very environmentally focused. So all of their packaging is recyclable. Everything that it came in the box, there was no plastic at all. And they're really big about um, sustainability on their supply chain too. So another great Canadian company. I don't know why these Canadian companies are so on top of it in the stationary game, but I feel like everyone that I see online are these awesome Canadian companies. But these are the washi tapes that I got. This one is like a mocha color. And then this one I believe is called Fawn. They're still in the neutral tones that I really like, but I think they'll help give a little extra depth and character while I'm scrapbooking. And I will link everything below with the color names that I chose if you wanna check them out for yourself. Now, the next thing I got isn't super exciting, it's just I got a pack of these glue sticks that I saw another YouTuber using that are super cute. One thing I will say though, if you buy these, they have a very strong glue smell. I don't know if I'm just sensitive because I'm pregnant and everything smelly, but very strong glue smell. But I tried them out last night and it works really well. I like that it's square because I feel like you can just get into the edges a little bit better when you're gluing in photos and stuff. And they're pretty cute, very aesthetic. Now for the very exciting thing. It's my new Kodak photo printer. 
let's open this up and do a test print. I have been looking at a lot of reviews and comparisons and I like that this one seems to be a bit more archival than like the thermal printers. I am a bit worried if I got one of the thermal ones that it just wouldn't hold up to time. But this one actually takes ink and it seems to have good quality photos. So we've got the cartridges. And the printer itself. Beautiful. I did get the black one. It's the Mini 2 Retro. And I guess I should probably read the instruction manuals on how to set this up. So I'm going to get this set up and then do a test print and I'll show you guys. I probably won't be able to film it as it's printing because I use my phone to film and you have to print from your phone but we will take a look at the photo quality together once I figure this out. All right, so I've got a couple test prints here and I am noticing on these ones that have a lot of negative space, there's like two streaks that go down the outside. So I don't know if that's just my printer or this cartridge, but I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I might reach out. It doesn't really bother me that much because for what I'm doing, I mean, you can't really notice. <laughs> and on other photos, like this one of my cat, where there's a lot going on, you don't really notice it at all. It's only these ones that have like a lot of negative space. So I tried a couple different ones that had different colors and all that. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the quality. It seems pretty clear and detailed. The colors are very vibrant, especially like this one with the orange, I really like the way that looks. And these little white tabs at the top are perforated and they do tear off like that. So overall, I'm happy with it. I'm still gonna be ordering bigger size photos for like photo albums and stuff like that. But I think for journaling and scrapbooking, this is gonna work out just fine. Especially for the price, it was only like 83 bucks or something like that, which I think is pretty reasonable for a fun photo printer that gives you a lot of creative freedom in your journal. So that is my mini stationery haul. I am pretty happy with everything that I got. I'm very excited to start doing this memory archive and I think I'll be spending the rest of the afternoon just printing out photos and writing and putting all these memories down on paper. I don't know if I mentioned but the paper quality on this feels really good. It's very like thick. <laughs> I think it could hold up to fountain pens and watercolors very easily. And I will definitely be putting it to the test as I start working on this. As for the photo printer, I think for the price, you get a pretty good deal. It was like 80 something dollars and the quality on these are pretty good. I like the vibrancy and how rich everything looks as well as it's pretty crisp. It only took a couple seconds to print and it's kind of fun watching it go in and out and print all the different layers. Now I still will be getting full size prints from my local uh, camera shop for photo albums and things like that. But for journaling, I think this is the perfect size and it allows me to print out some of these more like fun Pinteresty type things without having to go to my parents' house and use their printer because I don't have a full size printer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you've ordered from Hemlock and Oak before. I would love to know what you guys think. Or if you have any other printer recommendations that you use that you really enjoy. I hope to be showing you guys some fun spreads in this journal very soon, so stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!